this is the head of my probably quite expensive uh, Velbon PH162 uh, tripod. This is a fluid head, so it's a, a pretty fancy thing. It has all the smoothy motion if things in a spring to keep it level and what have you. Uh, I bought this thing second hand uh, and uh, it uh, sadly took me until I got home to notice uh, that it was uh, wonky. Uh, and uh, the reason for that is that I saw the camera that had been used with this thing originally. Uh, this thing is from the 80s and the camera which used to go on it was that size. It was about as long as this giant pipe wrench and at some stage I believe the tripod's gone and the cameras hit the floor and brought all that mass slamming down on this thing. So this thing has a ever so slight tilt uh, forward and to the left. So if you try to shoot level uh, you have your camera pointing that way. Uh, it's obviously just two axes up and down and around so I can't just adjust it down. Uh, the way I've been using it thus far is by just having a little something here to uh, just level it out, a piece of wire or half a CD or something, but that's getting a bit annoying. And generally this thing hasn't been used, I've been using the cheap tripod you're uh, watching right now, and that thing's just wearing out, also being from the 80s and used ten times as much and costing one tenth of a price, probably. So I figured uh, I have taken this thing apart and uh, I'm going to use some big tools, whatever I have at hand, to try and unwonk this thing because I'd really like to use it because it's just a real nice tripod with a really nice head uh, and it's a shame but it's not right so, and uh, the risk, this is an entirely cast I'd say aluminium thing uh, so the risk of it cracking and uh, breaking forever is quite large so I figured I'd put it down in video so in case it goes hor horribly wrong at least someone can learn from my mistakes and to demonstrate that this is in fact an issue uh, he has uh, a bubble level on top of the uh, partially reassembled tripod so the base is entirely straight, it's got a bubble level in there as well and uh, yeah bubble level no matter what I really do, there's a bit of slack since it's not tied together, but this is how it sits when it's actually mounted. And the bubble level is clearly showing that way. And if we tilt it so that the horizontal mounting angle metals less, it evens out, go flat, it's bad. It is tilting, tilting quite considerably that way. And here's a bit of a better look at the actual. The uh, device itself, as you can see, it's a very heavy duty. That's proper thick aluminium going on there. So, however, the fact that we managed to bend this is quite astonishing. And uh, it really is built in such a way that you cannot see where the actual bend is. Uh, I don't think the plate itself is bent because the force wouldn't be there. The bend is probably kind of in the joint here between the plate and the lower part of the main because that's the thinnest part really. So bending it back is going to be a challenge, a real challenge and uh, there's such a great possibility I just crack it. <sighs> but let's go. Alright, and I strapped it down to whatever and I'm just going to try hitting it with things. Wish me luck. We broke it. Ah. Yeah, saw that coming a mile away. That's in two parts now. Good thing I turned on the camera. Yeah, I don't think we ever stood a chance. That's done for.
So, I do wonder if I ever had it on the right track, or if it was just a doomed enterprise altogether. In fact, it fits together so well still that uh, I can actually manage this, and we'll see <laughs> if it's straight. Just looking at it, I doubt it. I strongly doubt this is straight. I think we're still all leaning left. All right, let's we'll see. I know. We actually got it kind of straight. Ah, what a shame. We actually got it kind of straight. There's a lot of play in the crack though, so can't say for certain. It kind of, it kind of wants to be like that, and then it wants to be like that as well. Ah, uh, what shame! Well, at least I still have the tripod, but I'm gonna have to get myself a new head. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this mindless destruction. Although I have a feeling this head was doomed from the start. <sighs> uh, that feeling when you just broke something expensive. Just basking in it. Could have just kept stacking stuff on top of this and I wouldn't have broken it. If it's some kind of magnesium thing, it's not going to be weldable. At least not to anyone skilled locally. And I really liked this head. That's why I wanted to fix it. Prior to doing this, I even like tried making a little leany platey thing attempted. It would have required a bit more work to get it right. But I figured it better to fix it. <laughs> it's certainly fixed. I don't need the leany platey thing anymore. <laughs> uh.